In this video, we're going to take a moment and quickly set up a build your own voice assistant for Star Citizen. You could easily take this same principle and apply it to Elite Dangerous or other games. Uh, when you install it, when you install Voice Attack, it creates a default profile called My Profile. That profile opens up with several commands. We're going to go ahead and delete these. We do not need these, so we should have a blank one. Um, we're going to consider the commands that are most commonly used in Star Citizen, stuff that would be helpful to automate. Um, one of those would be landing gear. We're going to start tell, tell Voice Attack to start listening. Landing gear. You notice it says unrecognized landing gear. I'm going to double click that. And it's going to say, when I say landing gear, what do we want it to do? Well, we're going to say press a button, and that button is going to be in, like, November. That's the default key bind for landing gear. I hit OK. And hit OK. And apply. And done. And now we're going to test this out. We're going to open up Notepad. Landing gear landing gear nice so that works so what can we do to improve this basic command we're gonna double click it and the first thing I'd like to do is I'd like to give myself options so I don't just say landing gear I want to have options so in order to do that I'm gonna open up the left square bracket and I'm gonna type raise then a semicolon lower and a semi and a ending square bracket in the space. So what this section right here, the open square bracket, the closing square bracket, raise and lower. What that does is that tells voice attack to listen for the words raise or lower followed by the words landing gear. If it hears either raise landing gear or lower landing gear, it will do the same action. So let's test that. You hit okay. I tell voice tag to listen. Raise landing gear. Lower landing gear. Landing gear. Now you notice that when I just said landing gear, I didn't tell the raise or lower that it kind of failed, didn't it? Let's fix that. So what we do is right in between the left square bracket, we're going to add a semicolon. What that tells voice attack is if there's no word or the word raise or the word lower followed by landing gear to take that action. I'm gonna hit okay, apply, done. Raise landing gear. Lower landing gear. Landing gear. Nice and easy, wasn't it? Now with the landing gear command in Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous, you get some kind of audible feedback. So the game tells you that it's raise or lower the landing gear. But what if we wanted to add our own in here? We, did the, we edit the command, we click other, we go sounds, say something with text to speech. And I'm going to say understood, a semicolon, executing now. will do. So now what that does is that tells voice attack to speak one of these three sentences when it executes that command. So if we want to test it out, we can just hit preview. Will do. Executing now. Will do. Understood. Nice. And you can set your volumes right in here in the voice you want. You're going to hear Cortana because I performed a registry edit that allows me to activate that voice and use it. Your default options are going to be Zira and David. So don't be alarmed if you don't have the Cortana option. You can turn that on. There are plenty of tutorials to show you how to do that. We're going to apply OK. I'm going to move this to the top because I want to hear it before it does it. I'm going to hit apply. Landing gear. Landing gear. Understood. 
Raise landing gear. Will do. Lower landing gear. Executing now. There you are. Nice and easy. And now we have the landing gear done. So what are some other commands that we're going to frequently need to use voice attack for? Um, I like to focus primarily on the stuff like combat. When you're in the heat of the moment with combat, um, maybe like boosting your shield power, decreasing your shield power. So we're going to add those now. And again, I found the easiest way to add them is just to tell voice attack to listen and then speak the words you want to use. Power to shields. Here we are, unrecognized power to shields. So when I say power to shields, I want it to say something right away. Diverting power to shields. Diverting power to shields. Diverting power to shields. Diverting power to shields. I want to hear this one. See how this sounds. Boosting shields. Nice. Okay, and then we want to press a key. And the button for increasing power to your shields is F6. So we're going to push F6. There we go. That will push F6 one time. Honestly, I think we should duplicate that. I think we should make it do that more than once. There we go. And the description here, we're going to say... And the category would be... Chip controls. Oop! Helps to type it correctly, doesn't it? And okay. And we're going to edit this one and we're going to say and that's going to be ship controls. Let's get our organization going well. Apply. Done. Power to shields. Boosting shields. Power to shields. Diverting power to shields. Nice. So that's power to shields. We can do the same thing with power to weapons. Power to weapons. There we go. So when I say power to weapons, There we go. And here we go. And the key press that we're going to push on this one. In order to boost power to your weapons, that's F7. So F7. There we go. And we're going to copy this one too. So it does it twice. And that's a ship control. Power to weapons. Power to weapons. Right away. Power to shields. Right away. Nice. Okay. So that's boosting power to weapons, boosting power to shields. There are a lot of other commands that you could turn on and off here. What I would recommend you do is when you start creating these, is compare your key binds and think of the things that are going to be most important for you. One of the things you're going to most commonly rely on voice attack for. Okay? That's all you've got to do. You can replicate this and just do the same thing again and again and again for each added added command you need. Thank you. I hope you found this video useful.